My name is Jeff Luce. I'm a paving superintendent for Asphalt Paving and Materials Company. I've worked for this company for well over 20 years and I've been in the paving industry my whole life. We decided to just move in a different direction in terms of machinery. So we bought a Bugla paver and uh, have run several HOM rollers. We have a working mill. We're just very happy with their products. We think that their support is outstanding, their parts availability is outstanding, and just in terms of the RDO personnel can continually reaching out to us. I don't think anybody makes a bad product out there. What it boils down to is parts availability, service, folks like Colby, Josh Connor, Casey, folks calling on us and making sure everything is, is moving in a forward direction. In this industry, it's, it's huge to have uh, support, and RDO certainly has provided that. We've never had a problem with, with any of, of the equipment in terms of test results, and I'm referring to uh, density requirements on the road and specifications, and the IRI ride spec is very, very difficult to achieve oftentimes and achieve monetary bonus in, in different state projects, and we actually have paved the smoothest road in state history with this machine last year. Boy, we've been nothing but happy, and we went into to work in paving equipment almost blind. Uh, not knowing much about work and paving equipment and boy we haven't been disappointed that's for darn sure the biggest thing was just getting comfortable with the automation and which button to push oftentimes you know what you want to do or what button to push but where is it or how did I get back to this or how do I make this happen that was the biggest difficulty and it was remedied in, in a couple three paving days I really like that oscillation in that we have found that putting that oscillation roller as our intermediate steel roller, we can achieve density with that and, and get away from using a pneumatic roller. Nobody likes a pneumatic roller with the polymerized asphalts anymore. They're a messy machine and I don't care who makes them, they just aren't a good fit with polymerized asphalts. And that oscillation as an intermediate roller is, we've found it to be very, very key. Everybody's margin is so small and, and you have to take advantage of every opportunity that's out there. 